first things first, before we get into today's video topic or whatever I'm going to be talking about today, um, I just want to give a huge thank you to everybody from Lockdown 23 and 1 that came to my channel after watching the interview and leaving all of those positive and reinforcing comments. It, it, it went beyond my wildest ex expectations and Josh, aka Def, Lockdown 23 and 1, Thank you so much for the opportunity to be on your show, and to, and you are a great host. And to be on, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, a huge thank you to everybody that subscribed to me. A hundred subscribers to me is it's a lot. I know to you guys it might not be a lot, or to uh, compared to other YouTubers, but Jesus, a hundred subscribers in one night. I know I sound like a broken record at this point, but thank you. So, for everybody that has tuned into my channel, I'm not exactly sure what type of content I'm going to be releasing. I'm just kind of going with the flow here, really learning YouTube and just kind of trying to figure it out because I'm not the greatest or the most snazzy with uh, social media and stuff like that. And I'm still learning. As you could tell, my Instagram has 100 followers. I mean, your boy is not a big time player, but I'm trying to learn. And I am more than blessed to have you guys to be on this journey with me. And I'm super excited to share all of my stories, my past stories, and my future stories with all of you guys. You guys are... The amount of comments and the things that you guys said in my last video to me, like... I feel so much love and it just really makes me feel like we're not in this alone. And you know what? That's a beautiful thing. T in today's topic, or what I wanted to talk about today was how sober I actually am now... In the interview with Lockdown 23 and 1, so I'm sure that a lot of people might have gotten the impression that I am completely sober off of the drugs and that I am clean, that I don't drink, I don't smoke anything or anything like that. I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys. I do still smoke weed and I have been smoking weed for a year now since I have become sober. I've been clean off of, I've been clean off the meth and the hard drugs for four years and I've been smoking weed for the past year and a half now. Now, why do I do this? Well, personally, just my personal opinion, I I love cannabis and it helps me with a lot of things in my life. And you know what? For me as a person, I feel like I am strong enough to keep it, my habit just at cannabis and not progress over to harder drugs. Now, for everybody, that might not be the case. And you know what? That's perfectly fine. I'm not trying to say that my way is better than anybody else's or in any way, shape, or form. Whatever path you're walking, if you're doing right and you're good and you're not harming others around you and you're happy, then who am I to say anything? In all seriousness, this, this is my scenario. I don't want to miss, I don't want to misportray anything. I am an ex-addict. Who is not completely clean I do smoke weed but I feel like my habits do not harm anybody around me I still I am responsible I still go to work I take care of what I need to do I'm not stealing I'm not going to jail I'm not doing hard drugs so for me in my in my situation I consider it a big win now not a lot of people might people might not agree with that a hundred percent but just I just wanted to share what my thoughts were on the topic and we can talk about it if you guys feel like ganja or cannabis is something that can help you on your road to recovery i'm more than happy to talk to you guys on what you guys do and if you are against it then we can talk about that too um i'm not a closed mind person whatsoever and i'm i i just want to get to know you guys a lot better and i'm really happy that you guys chose to come to my channel after the interview with lockdown 23 and 1 and it's such a huge opportunity I've always wanted to do something on YouTube and to be given the opportunity to do something like I just I got so excited to this morning when I saw the videos and the comments and the subscribers even though it wasn't like a thousand thousands at a time like it's still huge to me and I just really wanted to get a video out there for all of my newfound fans like you guys because you guys are so kind and you guys keep telling me that you can't wait for another video so I couldn't wait myself to make one <laughs> so yeah honestly just could not wait to make this video for you guys now back to the topic i keep getting off topic do i think it's a good idea for everybody that is an ex-addict to be smoking weed i don't think it's a good idea now that is now that's just my opinion and if you feel like you are able to 
conquer your addictions and dabble in whatever things you like to do as long as you're not harming yourself and you're not losing your job and you're still being a responsible person then who am I to ever say that you can't do that but in my situation it has been working for me I have I went to after I got out of the rehab I was still on probation felony probation for two years after I got out of that rehab so for me I had two years in the real world working paying bills paying for rent car insurance and you know responsibility of uh, regular grown-up responsibilities i had to do that for two years without any weed and i had to deal with the ups and downs of life getting fired losing jobs family drama and things that would normally trigger me to use other drugs i had to deal with sober as a real person not on drugs out in the real world on probation because i was still pissed piss testing i couldn't smoke any weed so i did not choose to i could i couldn't rely on marijuana for any of my problems which i think helped me build a lot of character and definitely helped me just not be a chemically dependent person when it comes to different situations that happen in my life so after i got off probation um, I actually got off probation around April 14th, just in time for, you know, 420. To be honest, it's been a year and a half. I haven't progressed to any other drugs. I would lie to you if I told you that I didn't think about those hard drugs here and there, but I've never been pushed over my edge to go get those hard drugs. Um, and to be honest with you, if you guys are wondering what helped me stay clean off of the hard stuff, is at the end of the day, it was just seeing all of my labor the work that i put in the time in rehab the job everything that i accumulated as a as a normal law-abiding citizen i did not want to lose all of that for one meth binge or whatever fucking vendor that i went on i knew in my heart that if i went on a vendor i would lose everything that i worked for i would lose my apartment I would lose my loved ones, I would lose my car, I would lose my job, and that was 100% going to happen. And that that fact alone is what helps me keep me sober. Well, not sober, but you know, clean off all the hard drugs out there. And you know, marijuana isn't really doing that to me. I'm not selling my TV or my computer to get a sack. On, on the topic of trying to get it, I actually work for a marijuana dispensary slash delivery service out here in Bakersfield, California. Now, yes, it is an interesting job for an ex-addict, and it is a job that I, it was an opportunity given to me, and I felt that I was strong enough as a person to get into that business and not let it consume me or anything like that. So, life, yeah, my, my life has been, has been a crazy experience and my job definitely is an interesting one and if you guys are interested in what it's like being a manager slash dispatcher for a marijuana delivery service we could definitely get into a couple videos about those i don't know i don't want to put out anything that's going to you know make anybody's road to recovery harder even though i should be you know doing the things i want with my channel but me personally as a person i just wouldn't feel right if my videos tempted anybody to do anything wrong or got anybody off track so that's just something that you guys are gonna have to tell me in the comment section below because i'm not sure if that's where i want to take my channel i am more than happy just staying with whatever i'm doing right now and telling you guys my stories my experiences and Anyway, uh, I, just, I really wanted to make a video today for you guys because I was just so overwhelmed by all of the love that you guys are giving me. And Mitch, I want to keep it real with you guys. I am a recovering addict who does still smoke weed, and that is by choice. If you guys are don't agree with that, that's fine. I'm hoping that you guys can still appreciate me as a person. And if you guys do, do don't mind it at all, then you know that's great. So we could talk about that stuff too. But anyways, guys, I'm going to try to keep this video a little bit shorter. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today and expect a lot more videos to come. See ya.